everyone welcome back to my channel microbiology easy notes if you like this channel please like subscribe comment and share today's topic Koch's postulates Robert Koch was a German physician and was very much interested in bacteriology when he was working on disease anthrax he discovered anthrax is caused by rod shaped bacterium called bacillus anthracis he isolated bacillus anthracis from blood sample of dyed animal and inoculated the bacteria in healthy animal coach observed healthy animals suffered from the same disease anthrax this experiment led the foundation of coach's four postulates coach first applied these postulates to explain cholera and tuberculosis these postulates were later generalized to other bacterial diseases what is the meaning of postulate Postulate is a statement that is believed or accepted to be true or it is a statement that forms the basis of a theory like here coach gave four statements that suggested theory of a disease the first postulate is the suspected causative agent must be absent from all healthy organisms but present in all diseased organisms meaning if we take blood sample of any healthy organism and observe it using microscopy or staining technique we can see pure blood cells whereas if we examine blood sample of any diseased organism for example organism is suffering from typhoid its blood sample shows blood cells along with salmonella typhi cells which is responsible for the disease while healthy organisms blood sample only shows blood cells not any microbial cell So in the case of diseased organism we always find pathogenic cells second postulate says the causative agent must be isolated from the diseased organism and grown in pure culture let's say healthy organism does not have any salmonella typhi cells in its body so when we culture its sample in particular agar media or a liquid media no microbes can be seen but we get isolated pure colonies of salmonella typhi when sample from diseased organism is cultured on particular agar media third postulate is the cultured agent must cause the same disease when introduced into a healthy susceptible organism it means when isolated salmonella typhi injected into healthy organism then being will suffer from typhoid disease not any other disease According to the fourth postulate the same causative agent must then be reisolated from the inoculated diseased organism it means if we take sample of the same typhoid infected organism and culture it we should get isolated salmonella typhi colonies again uses of coach's postulate coach's postulate provides framework between disease and its causative agent by which most of the diseases can be explained they explain association or relationship between the disease and microbe now there are some limitations of coach's postulates also first postulate says the suspected causative agent must be absent from all healthy organisms but present in all diseased organisms however organisms which are asymptomatic carrier of particular disease neither show any symptoms of disease nor they are ill but still carry infectious microbe in their body For example, person may possess Vibrio cholera in their body without having the disease. So in that case, first postulate which says the suspected causative agent must be absent from all healthy organisms but present in all diseased organism is not true. Later, Robert Koch himself rejected the first postulate. Another limitation is second postulate says the causative agent must be isolated from the diseased organism and grown in pure culture but pathogen like viruses are unable to grow in pure culture they require host cell to grow third postulate specifies that the pathogenic agent must cause the same disease when introduced into a healthy susceptible organism but this postulate is also not true because some individuals may avoid infections by maintaining their health for proper immune functioning acquiring immunity from previous exposure or vaccination or through genetic immunity